<laughs> uh, look what I got, look who did Young nigga, I told you that I'm gonna be big And I ain't gonna stop, it's just gonna keep on happening I'm just gonna keep on What's going on, people? It's your boy Levi, man Yes, I am back in the building I see what time it is, got another reaction for you guys today, man And today, today, today um, I got the title of it, but um, basically, man It's a guy who rented a car And he ended up never returning the shit <laughs> He never returned it, people we not even gonna we not even like that's just what happened, you know what I'm saying? So let's get let's watch this video of exactly what the f I said, man. So let's see what's going on. See how hopefully they show how he did it. What like if he still got the car, let's let's In early January 2024, an individual visited an enterprise car rental location in Key Largo, Florida. A 52-year-old man named Andy, whom deputies have had previous interactions with, rented a 2023 Toyota Corolla valued at $21,700 and agreed to return it within two days. Later on, Andy contacted the company to request an extension of the rental period, but did not pay for it, implying that he was essentially going to the grocery store to get some milk. Enterprise. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Ah, I've been smoking earlier, I'm smoking now, but like... Did I hear this wrong? Did he really go to the store? He rented the car just to go to the store? I'm bugging, bro. Like, he, there's no way. There is no way. Later on, Andy contacted the company to request an extension of the rental period, but did not pay for it, implying that he was essentially going to the grocery store to get some milk. Enterprise then made multiple attempts to reach Andy and even sent him a notice by mail. It stated that if the vehicle was not returned by January 17th, the incident will be reported to law enforcement. Despite ongoing efforts, Andy did not respond for two months, prompting Enterprise to consider legal action. On March 29th, deputies from the Monroe County Sheriff's Office visited the car rental company to gather information. Bro, he been riding around enjoying that shit too, and I'm pretty sure it's good on gas, so he like, this is perfect, man. I ain't bringing this back, bro. All from going to the store to be like, yeah, this, they not getting this back. Information about the incident. <laughs> I had Toyota though, bro. Like, why ain't gonna get a Lamborghini? His name is Andy. He actually booked a reservation to come in today. Did you say Andy? Yeah. I saw him yesterday. This is the demand letter we sent. This is the yeah. FedEx timestamp that we sent it to him. This is the registration and all the information for the U.S. The affidavit, the notary, and then my signature. And okay. When was he supposed to return it? He was supposed to return it a while ago. He picked it up in January. It's a Toyota Corolla that's just been in the wind. Yeah, okay. I saw it yesterday. He was supposed to return it on the 6th, but he kept extending. But okay. they, this is this is just the contract that they have printed out. He only made one form of payment when he picked up. It was converted. On and I know about those. Like, I just rented a car not too long ago because my car was getting worked on. So I know how much those, like, extensions are. Like, they, like, if you want to do one more day, it's, like, 135. Another day is, like... Like one third, and then sometimes it changes, bro. I guess the interest rate or whatever, but <laughs> that shit goes up. Of January, okay. 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 I haven't, he's like, he didn't answer the phone. I called, I just called to see if he was going to answer and confirm yeah. he didn't answer the phone. So. All right, um, if he comes at 3 o'clock, can you contact us? Yeah, he's scheduled to come in at 3.30. All right, perfect, thank All you. Right. He's not coming. About an hour later, Enterprise was able to track the stolen vehicle and quickly notified the sheriff's office, providing the vehicle's current location. Deputies responded to the address and found the vehicle with Andy. <laughs> Get out the car, Andy. Sir, get out the car. Subject, vehicle on scene. Get out. Can you step out of the vehicle, sir? Get out the car. You step out. It's not your car. Get out, bro. I need you to step out of the vehicle, sir. For what? I need you to step out of the vehicle, sir. Can I talk to you for a second? I can't hear you. Can you cut roll down the window, sir? Sir, number fourteen. Subject refuses to get out of the vehicle. All right, they can't find. Crazy, bro. Really think that this is car. I need you to get out of the car, sir. Can you open the door? I told you, Mister. We need to talk to you. Can you please step out of the vehicle? The rental car called us about the rental car. 
You gotta get out and talk to us. You gotta step out and talk to us. No, you can step out of the car. You got a baton. Yeah, but I got a window bar. I mean, I got the breaker. I can already tell this dude is gonna be a hard time, bro. You wanna get that? You wanna get the breaker? They might have to knock sure. you out. All right. They wanna report this car stolen. You haven't paid for it since January. Get out of the car. Yes, get out of the car. We're gonna, we're gonna remove you from the car one way or the other. You got it? Yeah. Sir. Just grab it. Just grab it. We just need to get the car. That's it. That's yes, it. So, okay. Just don't put your hands on top of me. All right. Just step out. I'm gonna step out. Do not put your hands on top of me. All right. I'm tired of you guys' lies here. You guys have been lying way too much. All right. You have your cameras on? Yes, sir. Yeah, absolutely. All right. I want to speak to your cameras. Do not touch me. Okay. All right, let me speak to your camera straight you up. You want to tell us your side of the story? First? Yeah, I'm going to tell you the side of the story. Okay. So before you well, even we'll, don't we'll touch me. Listen to it. That's fine. Just okay, step out. just Let's don't stop. touch me. Okay, what's it, going on? What's happening here is, my man, is that these guys have been running a scam with a phone in this town. Okay, that's number one. What do you mean uh, the phone? No, listen to me, my man. Listen to me. You put me through the court system with with with, with Judge Hamilton with the same <laughs> with the U-Haul story. All right, they've been bullshitting the driver's license. They've been bullshitting the scam inside of that story all right i have it all on tape i got all the proof of that they dismissed the case with that story too all right you want me to go over to to the, to the rental car place we well, can talk me, over there okay so they called us okay right? they and called they but they see me every single day even the men in the rental car place see me every day you've gone into that store every day every day they see me passing the but store you have gone into the store and to spoke to, to the woman and uh, he's been passing by the store, but I ain't been going in there. You got a Spanish girl there, too. So if you want to follow me over there and let them tell me that to my face, then you can put that on camera, too. Okay. You're going to pull off somewhere else. Right? 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 All I, all I want to say is this. All I want to say is whatever civil matter they want to deal with inside of a courtroom with me, they can deal with that civil matter in the courtroom. All I have the to say. company has reported the car stolen. It can't okay. be stolen if I'm in front of them every single day, my man, and I'm here every day inside of all of your police. Okay. All well, right. They, they took all the actions they could to try to reach out to you. They sent certified letters to no, you. They didn't send, your no, license. they didn't send certified nothing because every night I sleep right next to the other vehicle. No, okay. every night so you I don't sleep. don't live at the address of the where you get. That address is that they don't forget the address. Okay. All right, you can't tell me that story no more because I've and been. And they they've been trying to call you too. No, my man, the phone. The, they just changed this phone. All right, the reality yeah. so of you don't have the same number as when you rented. No, the phone. I've had the same number the whole time. Okay, I have the same number the whole time. What I want for you guys to understand is this. All right, these guys have been running a scam the whole time. I've been inside of. Right bro, even if they are running a scam, bro, like they still are going to take the car. See, like you're doing all this extra for nothing, bro. Like they're still going to take the car. Like you still got to get it figured out <coughs> if so give them the car you go there and then you figure it out you find your way over there or they can drive you there but they're gonna take the car right next bro. to where, where the uh where the paradise bonds is how, how many times has he paid since he rented in january the, he only paid the one time the initial rental fee and yeah. that's it he was gonna extend it and then after the 12th he didn't had to pay you haven't paid anything since the 12th of january all i'm saying is take me to the man over there or you want to drive the vehicle over there whatever you guys want to do and i what i can go in the back yeah, of the squad car over there whatever it takes i'm not getting no handcuffs you put on do top of me well, i don't want to listen listen to if we put you in the car for our safety you're going to be in handcuffs doesn't no mean i'm you're not under no i'm not doesn't mean you're under arrest damn bro just like skipped over there and just started talking over them he ain't even hear that like bro you're not under arrest just for their safety type i'm not going to be in handcuffs i'm not going to let you people touch me no more Okay, I'm sorry. I don't want to fight with nobody. You guys have been running a scam in this town for too long. It's, it's, it's about to go down. You, have, when, you, you said you talked to somebody over there, right? I no? talked to the Spanish girl there the, the whole time. Girl, when? Not even five days ago. Okay. And you told her, hey, I got the car. Everything's good. And she said, everything's good. No, you, she sees me all the time. I just said, look, hey, I'm right here. This is where I'm at all the time, okay. and that was it. Okay. Nothing more. So you can use that on tape, too, and you can bring the Spanish girl up there, too. I'm not going to keep on listening to the scam. If every night I, I stay right next to my other vehicle. So this is the deal. With the, with the rental car, once you rent a car... No, I'm not going to listen. You did the same thing with the U-Haul. You put me through a car for 15 months. You dismissed... You rented a U-Haul and didn't pay for it, or what? No, I rented, no the same shit you guys did here. 15 months you put me through a courtroom for a U-Haul truck, you beat me down with the police too, all right, and then you dismiss the case oh, too, you. and you sit here running 
Since deputies were pretty much done with his bullshit, they decided it was time to arrest him. I spoke to this to the judge, and I spoke to it right and clear to her face, and to the All lawyers right. too. All right, well, you're running fabricated licenses too. 15, I guess. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. All right. Just put your hands behind your back. No, I'm not letting you touch me. I'm not letting you touch me. Don't 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 touch if you chase me, no. On the ground. No. On the ground. No. So you want to force oh. your oh. Hands behind your back. Oh, you dead. You killed me. Right, right, right. Hands behind your back now. I swear to God. Hands behind your back. I swear to God. Swear hands behind God. your back now. Put your hands behind your back. I'm going to tase you again. I'm going to tase you again. Hands behind your back. I'm going to tase you again. Hands behind your back now. Put them behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. I can't move my head. Yes, you can. Bro, all of this and all you had to do was just do what the, they said. They probably would have drove you over there and then let you out the car so you can speak to them. It's, this is crazy. Man. He did the most. Behind your back now. Move your arm. Did you the again. most. I can't move my arm. I can't move my arm. You guys did this to me. You 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 did this to me. I didn't do this to you. You guys lied to me. You lied to me. And I swear. I swear. I swear. What? I don't think they're in him. They're right here. I swear. You could have made this a lot easier if you didn't do that. I'm over here thinking, like, bro, there's something wrong with him. He got mental illness or something, or he's just like. Is he on something? Like, what's do wrong nothing to you. you resisted. We told you to I stop. I didn't resist nothing. You, you put your hands on your back. And I didn't it. resist nothing. You guys are lying. You're lying. You fucking lying, bro. Eddie, come on. Roll on your back. Yeah, sit him up. We want to get you off the pavement, please. Let's come. Let's roll over, please. I swear to God. Sit up. Lean him against the car if you can. I swear to God, I swear to God. You want to stand or you want to just set him in your car? Yeah, we're in the car. Alright. I mean, rescue has got to look at him anyway. Come on, Andy, make it easy for us, bud. I didn't do nothing to you. I swear to you, man, I'm going to sue these people for all of this you did to me. I swear to you, I'm going to take you, boy. Come on, Andy. Have a seat. Damn, bro, I'm over here kind of feeling bad for him. He's saying what they did to him, like, whatever. But it's like, bro, why you ain't why you ain't bring the damn car back, bro? Like, you, you can't be stealing rental cars, bro. Please make it easy for us. I didn't do nothing to you, people. I swear to God. Come on, Andy. I swear to you, bro. Watch your head, please. Sit down. I swear to you. I Let me go the other side of him. I didn't do nothing. Prop him up. Enjoying your vacation. I figured we were gonna have to drag him across, so I just took this out. Oh, shut know, up. Good, but... Season now? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, ambulance is already on the way, so. Andy, say something. We got ambulance on the way, all right, Andy? We'll get you on the ambulance, okay? Yeah, Andy. Get you going. It's gonna all been avoided, man. No, he's he's fine. He's, he's, he's just spitting. spitting. He's all right. He's he's in the recovery position. He's fine. You want to sit up or stay like you're laying? All right. Man, he's breathing. All the Andy off something. Out, so. Andy, yeah, yeah. Andy put him on there, and one of us follow. Yeah. Sit up. You like be wilding like this. Then you get tired. He's, he's just going to play fainting goat yeah, for now. He's, he's got plenty of chest yeah. rise. He's fine. If you want to keep your face on the pavement, that's that's your own choice, buddy. I'm just trying to help you sit up so you don't have to... Andy, have get up, man. That's what you choose, buddy. That's fine. Oh, Andy, would you like to get off the pavement? You want to sit up and get your head off the pavement? It's hot. You want me to sit you up? Come on, sit up, man. It could have been avoided. Dude. All you had to do was just... Let us deal with it. It could have been done a lot easier, man. You can leave me for you. You can my leg. This could have been avoided. It's a lot easier for you. Yeah, I'm just saying, if you wouldn't have done what you did, this would have been a lot easier. Now, I'm doing what I did. Okay, then that's fine. That's what you're going to say to me now? You want to get inside the car? What are you doing? I want to stand up, dude. You're not going to stand up. You're either going to sit on the ground or you're going to sit in the car. Those are the only two options that I'm giving you. You're going to put that camera on my face and let me speak to that camera. Okay. All right? Oh, on to my face and you let me speak to your camera. Look what's this going story on in this time. place in your town, all right? Your name is Officer Far, right? Yes, sir. You was inside Panakees Park for all of that time with me in there. All of your police sit here blinking lights at people. You pretend like all of the people are your friends. And in addition to that, you guys have been running a fabricated license through your court system and running fabricated citations 
since 2019 inside of your courtroom. Since 2019, you've been running these fabrications. You pull people over, you write these citations, you run them through the court system. You run bailiff. Damn, is, is that true? Is that what's going on over there? He, hey, he might be on to something. He he was he was doing the most over there, but like he might be on to something. He might they, is the, are they out, are they really out there harassing this man like that? Like on top of them, you spit them in and outside of the courtrooms through bail. You take the bail money from percentages from people. You never care to understand what you're writing. All of this is unjustifiable work that you guys have been doing in this town. All right, you know it. You ran me 15 months through a court system so you can dismiss the case too. This is what you guys do, and you know you've been doing it the whole time. And the whole time I've been telling you guys you've been running this fabricated story since Madison to here, and I've never left your town the whole time I've been here. The whole time I've been with you. Guys guys every single night and I sleep right next to the vehicle right next to the paradise bondsman place every okay. night Can I put my camera back on? no what I'm saying to you is that you don't see anything wrong with that Andy. Andy. do you see anything wrong with that you see do you see that you can do that I don't I don't first of all I don't know what's talking about I just wait. How is it that you don't know what I'm talking about? You 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 selling fabricated licenses. I don't sell anything. Well, you're writing citations to them, and they're being told to you in front of Judge Hamilton. What inside of, All the citations you wrote, the ones you wrote inside of Pennekees Park. I don't the write ones, inside No, of the ones you wrote every time you pull somebody over. How is that fabricated? I don't make those. No, it doesn't matter whether you make them or not. And don't try to call her somebody how to speak. You put them through a court system for 15 months. It was told to the, the attorney. It was told to the attorney generals. This is what you guys have been doing the whole time. Saying all cops do that? All of you guys pulling people over. You write these things up. You pretend like it doesn't exist. You put it on paperwork. You sign off on it. The bailsmen sign off on it. You spit them. You, you put the money in your pockets at percentage rates. Bro, how does he know all of this, bro? Like, how he. <laughs> Where is he getting his info? Where is Andy getting all his info? You put people outside back on the street, and that's what you do time and time again. Why don't you tell me, okay, instead of stuff that I don't know what you're talking about, why don't you tell me about this rental car? Yeah, that's what we, that, damn, Andy's good, man. Like, he had me, like, I'm over here thinking about what's, what they doing now. I forgot, bro, that he stole his rental I don't need to tell you nothing more. There's nothing really more to say. You want to talk about things, you should start talking about where you violate people's constitutional rights. This ain't my case, so... It doesn't matter whose case it is. You sit there every single day running someone's plates through the system. Man, what's up with this stolen car, Running Andy. people's IDs through them. You card people up. You know it. You run DMV assessments on one vehicle versus the next vehicle. And you know you're doing it all unjustifiably. And when it's told to you inside of a courtroom, that is what you do. He's got a couple scrapes. Okay. Probably just load him up with you. As far as the handcuffs go, he's in custody. He handcuffs to the structure. Because I can't have him. He don't have to sit because he's already fought us once. That's why he's... Okay. No, I didn't fight nobody. You fought me. Okay. Because I told you, I gave you options. I told you you could have drove me to the place. They already resisted once. No, there's no resisting. You um, took me through a yeah, court system and the, fabricated paperwork and dismissed the case. Business. Look what I want to do here, my man. I want to put this on camera too. You mind if I grab my plastic bag that's inside of my pocket? Your plastic bag? Go ahead. All right, do you have a knife till you can cut it open? Because you got me tied up here. I want to put this on camera so you guys know exactly what you guys are doing wrong here. Dude, Andy can talk, man. Like he, he need to politician or something, man. But he out here stealing cars. It's... Okay. All right. So, do you mind helping me out here, or when what? they stand you up, I'll grab it out of your pocket. You're not patient. Just wait. I'll grab it out of your pocket when they stand you up. All right. And I want the cameras to see it. That's fine. I'll put it back on my chest so it sees everything. I want to put it all on record. They're coming to pick it up. Oh, sir. They don't or anything. Or anything. No. No, no, because we were holding him up when he got tased. So we. One, two, three. So what's, what's the story with it? Vehicle was reported stolen this morning out of Enterprise. It was supposed to be due back January 17th, and he hasn't returned it. Hasn't made contact with him. With Bro, him. been rolling. I was, was not here, catching him. When we got here. Oh, it was yeah. in the vehicle. Yeah, so we refused to get out. Finally, able to convince him to come out. And Andy was when we went cruising. To him, he I'm gonna take it off your back. Right, no, put it right here. Just put it right there. All right, Andy, we got to get going. We don't, we don't no, have time for games, okay? It, this has to be on body camera. Okay. So you guys see what you've been doing. This is my birth certificate yep, that was given good. to you here in Key Largo. Yeah. This is my social security that's attached to it right here. That was given in Key Largo. Okay. It's out of your place. This is the license that you fabricate that you want on tape doing it. This is what you guys are doing. 
You pull people over, you put people through a court system. The last time you did the same thing and you dismissed the case of 15 months of running me through a court system. This is what you did. You done violated my rights the entirety of the process doing this while I never left your town and I've been in this town almost six years with you. This is what it is. And since 2019, when you go to the vehicle next to Paradise. Roll while he talks. All of it. Okay? That's your ID, sir. Andy was charged with felony grand theft of a motor vehicle and misdemeanor resisting an officer. He was subsequently given a cash bond set at $40,000. About a month later, he pled no contest to both charges and was found guilty. His sentence was ultimately withheld and he was given two years of probation with conditions. However, the following week, Andy violated his probation, leading to a warrant for his arrest and he was soon arrested once more. Wanna de so Andy don't man. I I hope for Andy man, but Andy Andy a wild one man. He's still in rental cars. And look like bro about to get locked back up. He's older dude, bro. Like, I don't know why you acting like that, man. That's crazy, man. But uh, yeah, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this video in the comment section. You know what time it is. I'm gonna see you in the next video. Peace.